Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you some easy methods of decorating your digital planner. And I've also got some freebie stickers for you, so stay tuned to find out more. If you're new to my channel, I do digital planning videos, plan with me's and tips, so subscribe to my channel for more videos. So recently, I've been loving colored pages for my digital planner, which is why I'm currently using this rainbow planner that has a rainbow color theme. However, if your digital planner currently is plain and doesn't have any color on it, I'm going to show you some simple methods you can use to add color to your page. On the iPad, I recommend the app Procreate. So the first thing you want to do is to take a screenshot of your current page. Then in Procreate app, you're going to add the image. Now you want to create a new layer. Make sure that you're doing this on a different layer, not the original layer. And then you're just going to pick some colors that you like. So an easy way to find a color palette that you like is to browse around on the web and find something that you like the look of. And then let's say you find this, you can add this image to your photos and then go into Procreate app and then tap on the color button up here, go to palette and then tap on this plus icon and then you can do new from photos and then pick that photo and it will import all the colors into here so that you can use this as a palette. So next you're going to want to zoom in and then pick a brush. I'm using calligraphy mono line and then making sure that you're on that new layer. Then you're going to trace the area of your planner. So it doesn't have to be a perfectly neat box, but try to make sure your corners touch the corners uh, matching to your planner. And then if you hold it there and let go, it becomes a perfect rectangle. And then you can just drag and paint that shape in. Now it doesn't look good at the moment, but I'm going to show you how you can turn the transparency down. And I'm just going to do the same with all of the other boxes. Once you've completed your spread, what you're going to do is go on the layer and then turn down the transparency of this layer. So you're going to tap on this and then turn it down to about 40%. So you can still see the writing underneath, but now your page is colored in. And you can also toggle the transparency. So if you want it paler, you can turn it down. And if you want it darker, you can turn it up. So here I've got 65% and you can still see that you can make the words out, but that page is then the colors are more vibrant on that page. Next, I'm going to come to layers, turn off the bottom two, leaving just that color. And then I'm going to save this as a PNG file, save image. Then back in my planner, I can just insert that image and you can crop it if the sides are too big. Then I'm just going to resize that until it fits my planner page. So the first time you fit it over the page, it can be a little bit fiddly, but what you can do then is to lasso this and then easily copy that to the next day. The next time you do it, it will just be a lot easier because you have already fitted it exactly over the page. And you could write over the darker colors with a white pen. And once you've made one, you can also go back into the Procreate app, turn on the other layers, and then I'm just going to duplicate this layer so I don't end up editing the original. And then what you're going to do is go to the adjustments layer, go on to to hue saturation and brightness layer and then I'm going to change the hue and you can see as I change the hue the color of that page is changing so you could easily make other spreads using this one page and it will work in different apps as well so here I am in notability and I've added in that blue one and here it is in note shelf on Android instead of procreate app you can use the app infinite painter and it just works in a similar way to procreate you can draw your shape and you can fill using any color you want and you can toggle the transparency of that layer here and then you can just export that as a PNG to use as a sticker in your planner. You can also decorate your planner with individual color blocks and I've been working on these freebies recently and they are now ready for you to download from the freebies vault. I'll put the link to that down below so you can see that once you've placed them over your boxes you can just write on it with a black pen or a white pen and you can still use highlighter over the boxes as well. You can also use the color blocks to create a frame where there is none. So for example, I'm going to put this over the mood color key section, um, but because I want my writing to go over the top of the color block, I'm just going to cut and paste this so that it's the last object to go on the page. And then I'm going to bring this block back on. And you can see that the writing and the highlighters is sitting on top of that color block. You can also use these color blocks for creating vision boards or for journaling. Another easy way to decorate your planner page is to use an overlay sticker. So this is just one sticker that covers the entirety of the page. So it's good for lazy days when you don't feel like decorating it with individual stickers. It's really quick and then you can easily just add the same overlay to different days as well. If you use a semi-transparent overlay sticker, you can still see the writing underneath. And this particular one is from our freebies vault, but I'm going to show you how you can easily make your own. So here I've added the screenshot of my planner into Procreate and then I've just created a new layer. And then I'm just going to add some doodles onto this. 
I'm going to create another layer and make sure that I put each of my doodles onto a different page. And then I'm just going to duplicate these different items a couple of times and I'm going to rearrange them as I want on the page. So here I am in a copy of the file and then I'm just going to merge everything into one layer and then I'm going to make some final color tweaks. And then once you're done, you can then toggle the transparency to a point that you can still see the writing underneath. And then you can duplicate that side and then bring it onto the other side. And once you're happy with that, you can merge the two sides into one PNG and save that to use as a sticker. Or you can drag it directly from Procreate. And once you have one, you could also duplicate the page and change the colors so you have a different version. So now I have two different colors for my overlay. And if you like this particular overlay, I'm going to put this in the freebies vault so you can just go there now and download it. Another way you can decorate your planner is to use these reminder word stickers instead of simply writing out the word. So this particular sticker pack is in my shop, but you can easily make your own. You want to have some nice fonts installed on your device. So on the iPad, I like iFont and in Font Finder, I like Da Font. So you can just scroll through until you find some fonts that you like. So let's say I'm going to download this one. I'm going to import to iFont and then go to installer and then I'm going to install Install that and then I'm going to go into settings where I can find it in my profile downloaded and then it should just pop up ready for me to install and now when you go back into your app you should find that font ready to use so to make this into a word sticker like these what you can do is to use a highlighter and pick a color that you want and then just draw a frame around your word and then you're just going to want to move that box aside for now and if you have trouble selecting one from the other you'll just want to toggle in your settings so that you don't end up selecting text boxes as well and then i'm going to change the color of the text into white i'm just going to cut and paste this so that it goes over the color and now you have a word reminder sticker. Now that is a bit fiddly to do in good notes so I prefer to use procreate. So in procreate you just want to start out with a blank canvas and then you want to do add text and then you can just type your text in here and then I'm going to change the font and I'm also going to change the color to white and then I'm just going to create a new layer underneath that. On this layer I'm going to pick a different color and then with the brush pen I can just go around that word and then I've got my reminder word sticker and then I can just merge the two into one layer and then I can export this as a PNG to use in my planner. And back in Procreate you can also easily change the color of the different aspects by just dropping in new colors. An easy way to decorate your planner is to use planner stickers that have a transparent background, but I'm going to show you how you can easily make your own using just images that you can find on the web. So here I found this clip art sheet of some flowers and I'm just going to save this to my photos. And then I'm going to go to this app on the iPad called Magic Eraser. And then I'm just going to bring in that photo. And then I'm just going to tap on the background to remove the white background. Now, if you find that it removes too much or too little, you can toggle the tolerance down here and see that's removing more and then that's for moving less and then I'm just going to export this as a PNG high resolution and then once that's saved I'm going to go back into my planner and then I can just insert that image and now it has a transparent background and I can just crop out the image that I want. You can also turn this into a semi-transparent sticker by going into Procreate and you can bring in that sheet that you've already trimmed the background of and then just turn down the transparency and then I'm just going to remove the background color and then save this as a PNG. And now when I'm back in my planner, you can see that this is now semi-transparent. So you can still see the writing underneath and you can use that to decorate your planner. To achieve the best results, you'll want to find a medium-sized image so it doesn't come out too pixelated. You can see this is looking a little bit grainy, but you also don't want the file to be too large so that it bloats your planner file. Another quick and easy way to decorate your planner is with highlighters. So in GoodNotes app, you can draw a box around the highlighter, hold it down, and then it will snap into a perfect rectangle. And then you can also use the shapes tool if you tap on it you can then change the width of your rectangle and then you can also copy and paste this and change the color into anything that you want Another way to color in a box if you're using GoodNotes app is to use the shapes tool, make sure fill color is on and then you want to draw using a thin pen and a bright color around the area that you want to color in. Hold at the end and then let go and then tap the back button and then you can use the lasso tool to reposition and resize the box until it fits. 
and you can also color this in using a different color. The downside is that the colors come up quite pale even if you do use a bright color pen to start out with, which is why I made these freebies because you are able to achieve a brighter color using the, the color blocks. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments, and please subscribe to my channel for future videos and plan with me's and tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.